You hired some workers in that new location. But suddenly you realize that these new hires in the new location are not getting the particular compensation component meant for all employees of North America. What went wrong? What can be the issue here? You just opened up a new location. You started hiring workers. But you see that they're not getting the compensation that you get to the remaining 10 locations. In your eligibility rule, you have not included the new location. So the system doesn't know that for this new location, also, they have to pay this new allowance. It is a, let's say, a mistake that somebody has done. So how to avoid these mistakes? Isn't it better that, instead of adding individual locations, I group them up in a location hierarchy called North America and then I design the rule based on North America location hierarchy? What is the location? Hierarchy. It is a logical grouping of your different locations. Isn't it? That's what we learned. So it doesn't matter if you create one location, five locations, ten locations. All you need to do is create the location and put it as part of the hierarchy. And then your compensation eligibility rules will take care of the rest. Agreed. Yeah. Similarly, regions in a region hierarchy. If we write the rule based on the region hierarchy, if we write a rule based on the company hierarchy or cost center hierarchy, I don't have to individually add cost centers or companies or locations into my eligibility rules. Isn't it so? That makes the configurations much simpler. If you are grouping this, if you are grouping your components into some form of hierarchy, now do you realize why we create job families and job family groups? Let's say we have created a job family and we want to give a special allowance to the workers of a particular job family. That means all the job profiles of that particular job. Family. You don't have to individually pick and choose each and every job profile. That makes the configurations a whole lot easier. And that makes decision making a whole lot easier. And you say, okay, I will give an allowance to my employees of North America. That is how the CEOs will talk. That is how the executive team will talk. Give an allowance to people of North America. So how do you find out all your employees in North America? Create a location hierarchy. Include the locations, different locations in that location hierarchy and roll out the compensation for that location hierarchy. That is how it is done. So you can define eligibility rules based on a variety of factors. Like it can be location, it can be region, it can be job profile, management level, etc. It can be a combination as well. If country is Denmark eligible. Okay, now let me ask you this. When we hired a worker, did we specify the country? You saw, when we hired, last week, right? What all did we specify? We specified the job profile, whether a worker is full-time, part-time and the supervisory organization, whether the worker was hired and what else. Location right. We specified the location. But how does it know the country?
In the location itself, isn't it? In the location. The location is in a country. When we gave the address, when we gave the locale, we selected the country. I'm just asking you to think based on the different components that we have already created. I'm just trying to correlate them now. Right. Because the location is mandatory when we hire a worker. In the location we have, the country of that location. Right. We define a country. So that is how the country will be brought into the picture. The country of the worker's location. Okay. Now we can also combine multiple factors. Let's say, the country is US and the management level is such and such. Management level is supervisor, or management level is CEO or management level is manager. Based on that, we are going to give a certain allowance. Right. Let's go ahead and create the eligibility rules in Workday and see how they look. All right. So here we are. Logged in as Logan Logan. So we will create our compensation eligibility rule. Right. So we will say, create compensation eligibility rule. That is the task. Create compensation eligibility rule. Okay. So the first one that we are going to create is for managers. So we will say wall managers. Okay. All managers. So you see how the page looks. It says you can give a comment. Okay. Comment meaning that, okay, this rule is to identify all managers in the tenant. Right. Or in the system. Okay. This is what I'm going to do. All the managers, irrespective of their organization, it can be part of global modern services, can be part of our WeWork hierarchy. XYZ Motors. It can be anybody. Okay. All managers. Now you can also categorize. Okay, you can just put in some category. Like, okay, what is this? Work from home, work from India, work from UK, etc. So you can create a category. The category is only for your reporting purposes. And you can copy a condition from an existing rule. Right. If there is an existing rule, you can copy it from there. I will show it to you how we do it. But now you see the rule, conditions. Here it says, rule condition. This is where we will write our rules. Okay. It starts with an and. So if I go and click on this, you can choose an and or an or. Just like one of you was saying right. An and or an or. Yes, we can use an and or. There is an option of using brackets. You see the opening of the bracket and at the end there will be the closing of the bracket. And it says, source, external field or condition rule. You can select a condition rule in this field or you can choose a field. Okay. A field. 
and then a relational operator. So it can be equal to, not equal to, etc., etc. And then the comparison type and comparison value. So it looks a bit overwhelming at first. But let's start creating our rules, and then it will be a bit simpler. But remember that this rule conditions the way that we are writing rules. Okay. We will see this again, over and over again, in many places in Workday. Whenever we write conditional logic, we will see this kind of a page. This rule, writer as I call it. Okay, this is not something that is unique to workday compensation. Please make a note of this. This rule, the way we write the rules, is not unique to compensation only. We will see this in many, many different places. Whenever we write conditional logic, we will see this kind of a setup. Where we have to write the rule conditions. All right, this is not unique to compensation. We will see this in other places as well.